Hello, ladies and gentlemen, man, woman, dog, cat, turtle? Alike, I like turtles, and this is F My Gaming. My name is Levi, and I'll be your host in this lovely Minecraft world. We have a nice view going on here. I just wanted to show that off a little. <coughs> don't mind me. If I pass out and stop talking and stop moving, um, don't worry, I'm already dead. Um, so let's just go ahead and turn this stuff back on, but look, look, oh, look at every, oh, it's so nice, and our, our bridge goes like forever. Um, so we're going to continue working on our bridge like we did the other day. I hope it's not too boring to you guys, but um, I have some stuff to talk about, which is nice and wonderful. Yes, it is nice and wonderful. Let's see, what should I talk about today? I don't know. I am drinking a Mike's Strawberry Lemonade. Excuse me, Mike's Hard Strawberry Lemonade, and maybe that's why I'm choking. Um, no, I'm probably choking because the tortilla chips I'm also consuming right now. Yes, these tortilla chips are delicious. I want you guys to pause the video right now. Go get your favorite drink and snack. Come back and relax with me because you know what? It's time to wind down and have some fun because our day was long and tiring and just really drawn out. And we like to relax every once in a while. So go ahead and do that. When you get back here, let me know what you got. If you didn't get anything, let me know what you would have got if you had a pantry that had every food imaginable in it. Basically, tell me what food you're craving right now. Um, I don't know, these tortilla chips is what I'm craving right now, but I don't want to take my hand off the keyboard, because I might fall down and have to swim all the way back there. That would be ter- that would be terrible. Let's not- let's not even think about that right now. I'm glad I have a new keyboard that doesn't randomly, like, not activate a key. So when I hold down the shift key right now, it actually holds down, which is a good thing. Um, speaking of my old one, it would randomly be like, Hur! and it would <laughs> just drop me down there and- I would, I would be royally screwed. Royally, royally screwed. Um, and not even not even like a Phillips screw, like a flat head. So you have to have the flat one to get it out. And it's just like, ugh, who has flat head screws anymore? Like, come on. Come on, really, guys? Um, so, so I guess what I'll talk about today, uh, I'll talk about Sunny D, because it has been my beverage of the day many, 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 many times before. And I hope maybe someone out in the audience is drinking Sunny D right now and be like, Ah, yeah, I can relate, Sunny D. Or Sunny Light, as it is, as it is sold in some markets, um, is actually a product of the Sunny Delight Beverage Company. Beverages Company, excuse me. Uh, they are originally... I don't know. I don't remember where they are originally. They are originally created by a couple guys and... and um, they made the Sunny Delight brand, and then they got bought out by Coca-Cola. They were a part of Coca-Cola Beverage Company for a while, and after a while, Procter & Gamble. Procter is spelled P-R-O-C-T-E-R, -E not with the O-R like you're proctoring a test. Um, it is E-R like Procter & Gamble, I suppose. Um, sorry, that's just a random fact that I have to keep track of because... One of my teachers has literally put that on every test we've had, and it is really annoying. The guy, oh, that guy, that guy. But we've already talked about that guy and complained about the guy. So they got sold to Procter and Gamble, who had them for a while. They're doing all right. Like man, they they, they got some market share, but um, they started getting flack for not being healthy because it was like a high fructose, high fructose corn syrup and water based product and a lot of um, reports had talked about how high fructose corn syrup is awful it's gonna give you cancer and diabetes and AIDS all at the same time in one fell swoop which is not true by the way um, but then eventually a, an independent company the Sunny Delight beverage company came and bought them out I don't know how the company was named Sunny Delight Beverage Company and managed to buy him out. I guess a couple guys came in with some money. He's like, hey, we want to take this brand and make it completely independent. Um, but that company, the Sunny Delight Beverages Company, actually has some other products as well. Um, I believe that they're mostly in like European markets. So I'm not familiar with them, but like Bossa Nova and, and Very Fine and Fruit 2.0. I believe are all owned by the Sunny Delight Beverage Company. Beverages Company. It's a beverages company. I kept writing that wrong. I just did a report yesterday. All of yesterday was a report on Sunny Delight. So I'm kind of um, overloaded with Sunny Delight right now. Even though we ran out here and I was sad. Because I was like, I need some vitamin C today. Because everyone at school is being sick. And it's just disgusting. And I don't want to get sick. Um, 
But yeah, so Sunny Delight, Sunny Delight, Sunny Delight. You guys should count how many times I say Sunny Delight in this video and leave it down below in a comment. Um, or you can just make a guess and maybe someone will actually count. So let me know what your guess is. And then you can actually count it and, and tell me how many times I say Sunny Delight or Sunny D um, in this video. So, jeez, this just keeps going. Damn. Damn. I'm never going to get there. Never going to get there. Look. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. I need, like, a like a, like a rail car here or something. Um, yeah. A rail car. Let's walk over here. Grab this. So what was I talking about? Oh, right, because I wanted some vitamin C, right? And Sunny D, or Sunny Delight, has 100% of your daily value in every eight ounce of flu or eight fluid ounce serving. You need to know the difference between fluid ounce and ounce, because ounce is actually like weight, you know? It's weight, um, whereas fluid ounce is actually a volume based on the weight of water. So it's the equivalent volume of eight ounces or eight weight ounces I, I don't know really how to distinguish it of water in most cases uh, so that it, it, there's a difference and it's annoying when people are like oh yeah it's eight ounces it's, it's no it's not it's not if you get a bottle that's eight ounce eight fluid ounces well I guess it is gonna be approximately eight ounces because the density won't be too much different than water most likely but I mean you can get some kind of super dense thing or some like because it, so if you dump out your, your bottle of liquid, right, and you replace it with a gas, um, and gases are still, can be, still be considered fluid because they move like a fluid, right? Like a little, what you and I think of a fluid, they move like a fluid. Uh, oh man, I have more cobble. So, but when you dump out your, your, your Mike's Hard Lemonade, even though I know you're not drinking it because... We well, might be, but hopefully you're you're of age. I know age actually does vary from places. I keep saying 21, but you know what? Um, I know some places are 16 even, which is which to me is kind of crazy, but I guess it's not all that crazy. Let's go ahead and just put some torches down here to try and keep creepers and skellies from stop from. To keep them from spawning on here, not to keep them from stop spawning on here, because I don't want them to spawn on here. I want them to stop spawning on here. Um, where was I? Holy crap, I am gone off on some tangent. Yeah, so if you dump out your Mike's Hard Lemonade and, and you fill it up with this this liquid called air, it's, it's not going to weigh 8 ounces, um, right? So that's just a distinguish... a distinguish... a distinguishin... a distinguishing... A distinguish, I can't spot. I can't speak. That's just a distinguishment um, that should be recognized. But yes, so yes. Back to my other point. Um, a long time ago, a point. Point not long time ago, but a long time ago in this video on my train of thought. Because man, things are spewing out of my mouth like diarrhea. Um, diarrhea is spelled funny too. Um, it's kind of weird. Um, but then so is diarrhea. So I guess it makes sense. But holy crap! Holy crap! 100% uh, vitamin C, getting even to my point. So, last weekend, uh, a lot of students from my university go to, uh, it's called Lake Shasta, it's, I believe, in Northern California, and they go there to party and to drink and just to be, you know, stupid, arrogant, um, young people, right? And so I was sitting next to this kid, and he was trying to talk to someone behind me, and he kept turning. He was like, yeah, uh, I made a really stupid decision last night. I got super drunk, so now I just feel like terrible. I'm like, oh, yeah, I can relate, man. But guess what? I'm not that stupid. I'm not going to drink on a <coughs> school night. He was like, oh, this was my, my, my buddy's birthday, so so I, I kind of had to drink. like, no, what? Nope. Anyway, still back. Uh, music kind of seems loud, doesn't it? That's a bit better. That, yeah, so, um... So it's like, yeah, so I don't really feel good, and I feel like I get, I have a cold and blah, 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 and he's like, Ugh. Of course, he's he's doing the thing where you turn around in your seat to talk to someone behind you, but you don't turn around all the way, because you don't need to, right? Because you can talk to them, you know, like 90 degrees. So he's basically talking right to the side of my face. And he's like coughing, he's kind of covering up. He's, he's like, he's putting... 
his fist in front of his mouth and coughing. But no, that's just blowing his cough to the side. So like right in my face. I keep feeling his breath that reeks of alcohol on my face, which was completely not cool. And then he's like, oh, college kids are really stupid. <laughs> we're all drinking off the same tube, so uh, we're all going to get sick now. And I just think about things like uh, like laryngitis and stuff that we could get that could just kill us like boom. And it's like, yeah, you are pretty stupid because you drink copious amounts of alcohol while drinking off a funnel and tube. Uh, because, you know, it's cool. And you can all share the same thing and all get the same sickness. But then he pointed it out. And it was like, I just feel like everyone has the sniffles going on right now. And I stop and I just listen. And like, everyone around me, everyone around me is coughing and sniffling and sneezing. And oh, they just sound terrible. I'm like, oh God, what have I done? And like, I, I made the decision today, sit kind of in the back of the class, kind of like the back middle. Usually I sit somewhat close to the front because I'm a nerd and I don't like to, um, associate with those types of people. I'm like, I'll sit somewhere in the back. So I'm just surrounded by these people. And I know these people are all on that trip and they're all like sick now. And Jesus, this ocean just never, just never finishes here. What is going on? Um, so I'm like, oh, that's great. I got this kid coughing and sneezing and talking on me. I'm surrounded by fellow classmates, you know, that are totally there to study and take their studies seriously. Um, and they're all coughing and sneezing and sniffling. And I was like, I don't feel like getting sick right now. I didn't go on this 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 super exciting fun trip where I sucked off the same tube of everyone else. That sounds just awful, first of all. Um, but come on, I don't want to be sick. Just, just quit coughing and talking on me and ugh. So if I get sick within the next few days, um, I guess that's my excuse for why I won't have videos out, but I don't think I'll get sick because when I was hungover, I drank so much Sunny Delight. So I have had plenty of vitamin C to keep me healthy. You know what I mean? Yeah. Awesome. Um, so, so I guess the moral of this whole story is that Sunny Delight is not just a morning beverage drink with its uh, main flavor, Tangy Original, which is most commonly sold in the one gallon variety uh, but instead it is a life-saving drink from Greek life people and other party people alike who like to all drink off the same tube and get each other sick basically they like to French kiss other guys okay that was, a, that was kind of a leap there that was kind of a leap basically they like to French kiss everyone even though they're all sick and sick in more than one way, ill and just awful, and not the awesome way, because really, uh, no, just no. Um, so I don't know. I hope I don't get sick. Uh, but we're almost out of cobble here, so that's gonna wrap up this video. I hope you enjoyed it very much. I hope you found it uh, this time with me, a relaxing and enjoyable. And hopefully, you will be, uh, you know, I don't, I don't know where I'm going with this, but hopefully, hopefully, you had a good time here and you are able to. Find a little bit of time to yourself. Just sit back, relax, and push off all the stresses of the day because things can get really stressful in life and around here and um, and such. And it's very important just to be able to put all those things aside. I guess that's probably why most of these people um, do drink is to push all these things aside. But then they're like, oh, i got to push it aside all the time because first world problems, man. First world problems. Um... So yeah, thank you very much for watching this episode. I gotta fight stuff my way way back now, don't I? Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave a thumbs up, a comment, let me know what you got as your snack and other things I, I asked uh, upon throughout this video. Uh, please favorite this video and my other videos in my... Excuse me, I can't talk at all, can't? Oh, creeper. Please favorite this video because I killed that creeper. Also, if you could uh, favorite my other videos. Because um, I'm really trying to grow this channel. It's getting near the summer and that means my summer job will, or my, my school time job will not be available. So I will not be working in the study lounge um, during the summer. I will still be making videos here on, on YouTube in the Minecrafts and the other video games. Um, but I'll also be studying and I'll be having lots of, hopefully lots of time to make videos and to uh, relax with you guys. So I really want to ramp up the 
the exposure of these videos and I can only do that with you guys' help because that's how YouTube works if you do not like and favorite and comment and share my videos then they're gonna stay in a dustbin or the, the circular file of the internet and I think you guys can agree we do not want that we do not want to be in the paper shredder um, nor in in anything else real hello be nice to me thank you um, so yeah please please like and favorite and comment and share this video and the other videos in my series uh, I will try to have the server on uh, more frequently I know it hasn't been on I'm um, too much in the last the last weekend at least I just cause I just wasn't around um, so I'll try and have that on some more and if you want to get on that you can go watch the server orientation video uh, and jump on things have been kind of rocky on there had some troublemakers lately um, and that's not that's not a shout out to the troublemakers because I know some of them actually watch my videos but then they want to go and get in trouble on the server which just makes no sense to me I don't, I don't understand how people find entertainment or, or humor or, or whatever it is in um, merely pissing other people off wait Okay, so there's the ocean. It's like, where did the ocean go? Okay, so where, where are we? I'm just super confused now. I feel, I felt like this here was an ocean already. I guess not. Maybe not. All right, guys. So I guess I gotta, I gotta get out of here because I don't know how long this road actually goes now. We're gonna have to take distance measurements sometime. Uh, but yes, have a great evening. The rest of your day. Make sure to take it easy. Um, try to be productive though because being productive always makes you feel good. It's always good to be productive. I just hate it when I'm not productive for a while and it just it just drives me crazy and I gotta find something productive to do. Um, so with that, I will see you all later and cheers. Have a great day.